Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock once again, and we are taking a look at Mitomo for uh, mobile, your mobile devices. And I already did a first look video of this, but I figured it's worth doing a second look because um, I wanted to actually show you guys what it's like to interact in Mitomo with your friends. The first video wasn't that fair because I didn't have anybody added to my like friends list. So I figured we're just gonna mess around here for a second look to give you guys another Another uh, glance at what Mitomo is all about. Of course, you can download Mitomo right now. I think pretty much worldwide, it is totally free to download. You don't have to pay anything. And uh, it's a way to socially interact with your friends. There's me right here, my me. Huh. What's something people do that you just don't understand? Something people do that I just don't understand. Um, I'm going to be really pretentious. And I'm going to say, eat meat. There we go. Eat me, seriously. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, in case you're, I don't know how you would have watched, I don't know how you would have found this video if you don't know what Mitomo is, but just in case you don't know what Mitomo is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all about answering questions that the, that the app gives you, and then your friends who also have the app can see the questions that you gave them, and they can kind of enjoy learning more about you. So here's Jonathan Holmes. Here's what's been going on with Holmes like, I'm a sleepy old puss. So apparently lately, Jonathan Holmes has been a sleepy old puss. I don't even know what that means, but uh, okay. let's. So I can do a couple things with that answer that he gave. I can heart it, Thanks. or I could comment on it. So you can see there's three comments there, uh, but we're gonna, all, we're gonna click on more and I can learn something else about another one of my friends. When asked that blooming flowers question to oh, I hate this question. I don't get it. Like the game says, imagine a field of flowers. How many flowers do you see? And then you answer, and it's like that's how many kids you're gonna have. I don't know. It's really stupid. So that one was twenty. That's a lot of kids to have. I don't think anybody really has twenty kids anymore. When asked that blooming flowers question to apparently find out another one. Many Jesus, that like I, like I said, that's the most annoying question in Mitomo. I hate it. Let's see. Breaking news. This is what Holmes said he was doing a few minutes ago. Log jamming. I don't know what log jamming is. I'm going to assume it's something completely wholesome. Because it sounds like it could be kind of kinky and dirty. Okay, so we're going to stop going through Just curious. Which do you prefer? questions. Or tea? And after you do that, you're asked questions. So what do I prefer? Coffee or tea? I don't really prefer either, but I would definitely rather have tea. So I'm going to type tea. Okay. Okay. Tea. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna actually back out here. So your me will just continue to think, you know, this little thought bubble, you click on it, your me will be thinking about a friend. You click on it and then you'll hear one of their answers. I'm gonna go back. As you can see, one of my friends actually came over to visit. Not really, this is all like computer controlled. My friend is not literally there, I don't think. Um, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click down here on recent and I can see all the recent activity between myself and friends. If I wanted to just see my answers, I could click on my answers down there and, and, and so on and so forth. But let's just kind of, one of the things I find myself doing is updating myself with what people were saying just by clicking on recent. That's definitely something I think most people will do. So I said, they said, uh, who are you in love with right now? And I said a bagel sandwich. And it was, I, it, that's true. So let's see, somebody commented on this. That sounds bomb right now. <laughs> Joanna says that that sounds bomb right now. And both Joanna and I think that is Devin liked that statement, that answer I gave. So I can scroll down and see what else. Um, the game, the app asked me when you were a kid, what cartoon did you always watch after school? I said Animaniacs. Animaniacs was a big part of my childhood. It's a great show. And uh, so I can just skim through the thread of everybody I talking about this. So I have read all these. Nothing like modern anime. We got uh, all of Animaniacs is on Netflix right now. Netflix Will, are you kidding? All of Animaniacs is on Netflix now. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Will just gave me a nice little tip there. So, yeah, and uh, if you click on it... Josh hates anime as far as I know. <laughs> if you click on it, the Mies will actually talk. They talk anyways just from opening it. Uh, what's something funny that's happened to you recently? I said I slept with the mail lady. Somebody commented on that. Lol, you are so full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, you don't know that I'm full of it. Maybe I did sleep with the mail lady. Um, then, so Roger's me, Roger's little me, asked me who I thought Roger had a crush on, and I said, Amy Adams from The Muppets, what did Roger respond with? You'd be right. You'd be right. 
Look at Roger in his... Roger looks like a smelly old codfish in his pirate gear. Uh, so, again, I was talking with Roger's me, and he asked uh, what I think he spends most of his time doing, and I said, working at Disney Interactive. I can't wait to see what he said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's a little inside joke, I guess, between me and Roger. Roger doesn't think he works at Disney Interactive, but Roger actually does work at Disney Interactive. I said, they said, what, um, what's your guilty pleasure? I answered, Butterfinger bars and hot flaming Cheetos, but shh. I want to see what somebody said here. Those Cheetos are good, but leave such a thick spicy cheese powder goop layer on my finger. <laughs> that is true, Justin. You have to keep licking your fingers, but then if you're sharing that bag with somebody else, they're not going to be too happy with you that you're sticking your saliva dripping fingers in a bag of community chips. What's something you've been really into recently that you would recommend to people and why? I said licking doorknobs on other planets. Hats off if you get what that's a reference to. What is the comment? Isn't that illegal? <laughs> so Justin, Justin gets it. Justin gets it. Uh, so yeah, you can just scroll through your answers. It's, I, I mean, I'm still not like the biggest fan of Mitomo. I think there should be more of a game here. There should be more stuff to do. But when you start to add people that you know, your friends and your family, and it's just sort of a fun little stupid thing to check on your phone every day. Jules Watson from Renegade Kid uh, was asked the question, what's the best thing about cats? He said curiosity. Uh, N Dad's Zach, it's from the uh, Nintendo Dad's podcast. Uh, what's your favorite kind of bread? He said banana bread with little chocolate chips in it. Great, now I'm hungry. So actually, that's a pretty good point. I think banana bread might be my favorite kind of bread, although I answered Hawaiian bread. In fact, let's go into my answers here. So we can see all the answers that I've given the app. Uh, what did I eat last night? I said Subway. Um, asking what the best thing about cats is. I said nothing. Cats are lame. There's my tea answer. There's the eat meat answer. What world record do you think you could break? I said having the most shoes, also stuffing the most marshmallows in my mouth without choking. Two people liked this comment or this answer. Devin and Monica. Uh, what were you doing just a few minutes ago? I was recording an Animal Crossing journal. Part-time weekend job. I said I wanted to be a princess wrangler. Uh, what kind? And you know, the most fun thing I think with this app is when people answer it not necessarily serious, or maybe it is serious. Like for example, uh, Mitomo asked me, "What kind of lessons did you learn when you were little?" I said, "Don't stick your wiener in the vacuum hose. It's not as fun as it sounds." Who saw that? Let's see. Devin and Monica again. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna, let's, let's go into my friends real quick here. Let's see if there's anybody that I could add. Oh, Bradley Jacobs sent me a request. So we're going to accept Bradley's request. So, so I'm just showing you like how easy it is to add people on Mitomo. Um, if you know people that have a Twitter or people that have a Facebook, Mitomo will like automatically pull that up for you. Right now I'm looking at people that sent me a request. I'm not going to go through and accept all of these right now, but I will like eventually. But right now nobody wants to sit and watch me go through all of these and accept them manually but you can see it's got like a little twitter icon before people um but let's go all the way down because it does also show you holy lord a lot of people have sent me friend requests here it's gonna take me forever to accept all these oh my gosh okay here's what i want to show so suggested friends kate ash p robert so these are people that i am like friends with on facebook or i'm following them on twitter and we haven't sent each other a friend request, but the app actually knows that. So I think that's pretty cool. It's very easy to add people, I guess is what I'm saying. It's saying I have 41 friends, recent activity, Jules. Let's go over to Jules' apartment. So you just click on their name in your friends list. I can see the answers. I've, I have unheard 20 of his answers. So let's click on him. Oh my god, he's got Thank butter on his head. The secret to his genius. So let's see. What's Jules been doing? When I throw a house party, I love plastic. Oasis, baby. <laughs> Jules is an Oasis fan? I don't even know what Oasis is. When I find out I've been lied to, this is how I tend to react. With the might of a thousand thought and sadness. <laughs> you can also rub the Mies as well. I think that's worth pointing out. Here's my ideal situation for a first kid. Oh, he didn't even give a situation. He just put a heart. I don't know what that means, Jules. So now, if I want to learn more about him, I have to use some candy. 
So I've collected a bunch of candy. Candy is easy to get. You get it in a game. We'll go back and play the game in a second here. It's like a pachinko game. So he eats one of my pieces of candy. If I suddenly had 30 minutes to spare, I would nap. <sighs> Jules needs to catch up on his napping, apparently. I can I can appreciate that. Thanks. So give him a heart. Okay, so let's stop with Jules for now. I was wondering, if we went on a vacation together, where would we go? Oh. This is just between you and me. Okay, so yeah, when you talk with the me's of your friends, they usually will ask you something about you and them, and that answer will only be shared between you two. So it's kind of fun, because then they'll see that again, and they'll see what you said. So if I were to go on a vacation with Jules, where would we go? I mean, my default answer whenever I think of vacation is I want to go to Florida. But with Jules, I'm going to say, on a treasure hunt across the globe. Okay. I'm saying that because I'm taunting Jules to get to work on his game Treasure Knots, which will be coming to the 3DS. I'm sure he'll get the reference there. On a treasure hunt across the globe. That sounds awesome. Why did he turn into a dog because of that? You, so key words will make the Mies animate in certain ways. And if you, if you type dog, they usually make the dog face. I don't know. Oh, maybe because I said hunt. Maybe hunt is a key word for a dog face. All right, so Jules wants more candy. We're going to leave him alone for now. Smell you later. <laughs> his, his goodbye phrase is smell you later. We can check out stuff like what clothes Jules has. He's got the pancake suit. I think that's what he's currently wearing. Yeah, it's not like everything that he has. I can even try on the outfit. Wow. Friends, does this show me what friends Jules has? I think these are, yeah, these are Jules' friends. And then we can go to his profile. And we can learn a bunch of stuff about him. He's a world famous stylist. He's his points, his levels. Um, he's given that many answers. And he's heard 267 answers. And the type of person he is is independent. And he's an artist. And there's his graph. Seems kind of in the middle, most of it. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go back. <clears throat> I think, you know, what the heck? Let's, let's, let's go to Roger's base real quick and see what this, this guy's up to. Imagine flowers blooming in your mind's eye. How many flowers do you see? He says, one flower, Amy Adams. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of bread? Cinnamon cinnamon roll, French toast. That's, geez, that's a fancy answer, Roger. What's the best thing about cats when they stay away from me because I'm allergic? Let's click on him. Let's see what he's doing. Let's rub Roger. What's popping? <laughs> he's got a different greeting. All right, let's see what he's up to. So, this is how I relieve stress. Degrees, degrees. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm assuming that's that meme face for doing something naughty. Roger's saying he does something naughty to his body to relieve stress. I can relate to that. I've been really into this recently, and I highly recommend it. I've recently gotten really into applesauce. Applesauce? I'm hoping that's true. Applesauce is good. I'm gonna have to ask him if he actually is into applesauce now. I, I got an applesauce guy. I can I can load him up with applesauce. Oh, what makes your heart flutter? Um, I'm going to say what makes my heart flutter. Uh, let's say. Let's see, lotioned up ladies who love. Lotioned up ladies who love a good time with Mayor Joshi. And of course, I'm purposely trying to be stupid just because I know Roger and I know the type of answers he's going to want to hear, so... <laughs> lotioned up ladies who love a good time with Mayor Joshi. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's say bye to Roger. Mammoth boys. I don't know what that is. That's got to be a meme of his. Hashtag mammoth boys. So, um... My first video on Mitomo was pretty meh, pretty negative. I kind of, I mean, I still do feel that Mitomo has a lot of stuff that it needs to work on. But be obviously adding your friends does make it a more enjoyable time. Um, I do like the idea of dressing up your Mies and playing the games and stuff. They've got, they seem to be updating it relatively quickly. I mean, there's already a bunch of different types of style, like the waffles and syrup and butter hats and 
bagel heads and bread. Look at this. Bread? What? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope that if they ever do add stuff to it, they make some more, like, gamey aspects. What's in the shop? Let's see what today is. One of the things that I always like is every day you can look at, like, highlighted items. So this is for April 2nd. What do we got in here? Oh, look at that. Clubbing look. Oh, man. I am not happy with that <laughs> at all. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's a neat little shirt. What is this? Oh, men's speedo! Wait, why am I still wearing some sort of leggings or something? They don't make me wear that, do they? I think I have to take that off separately or something. Um, I'm gonna have to get that speedo, but I don't have enough coins. I've only got 580 coins. So you can get coins by answering questions and stuff. Why is a scarf in the shop? It's April. They need to like make this more seasonal, I feel. Put these on. There we go. Roll up jeans. So I, I really want that speedo, obviously. Um, but I don't have I don't have enough money. So I'll come back to that when I get some money. But that speedo is as good as mine. Uh, I'm gonna end this though by going to more. So you can change your greetings as well. So when I greet somebody, I say ahoy. And then another greeting I have when I visit a friend is chomp chomp. My send off is later matey. And my goodbye is. The seas are calling. Bye bye. The seas are calling. Bye bye. There you go. I I wish I could give it a pirate accent. Um. So yeah, let's go into. I wanted to do one more thing. Let's go to the gift box, and then we're gonna end it with the pachinko-like game. My gift box is. Oh no, not the gift box. I think I wanted to go into me photo. I, don't, I wasn't paying attention. So these are some of the photos I've made. I'm sure you guys can appreciate these. Uh, and that's probably the main thing people are going to use Mitomo for, I think. It's mostly an app where you're going to take really strange pictures with your Miis. You can also obviously take pictures from the phone. Like if you took a, if you, all the pictures you have on your phone, you can mess around with by putting your Mii in there and putting extra little effects. I already kind of showed that in the first video. Um, this is probably my proudest photo, as you can see. I like to flaunt my shiny butt as much as possible. It's a picture of me as a flower, screaming about a flower. Here's me rolling around in a bunch of Splatoon cookies that I made. Uh, and then this is me. You know, typical day in the life of Joshi when he lives in Florida. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of fun, being able to just take, you know, mess around with pictures. People so far have been doing some pretty inappropriate and also pretty hilarious things with that. Um... The other thing that I wanted to show is, where the heck is it? I think it's in the shop, isn't it? Yeah, Mitomo Drop is what you play to get these extra things. I think I have a few tickets. I don't want to waste too many, but what, do I, what would I maybe want? I want the tulip hats. I really, so one of the things I really want Mitomo to have is more types of games like this. A few more things like this would actually be interesting. So I'm just going to only do this once. We've got Justin Ruby here. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to hit over on this. Let's, uh, let's get that and go back. So this is a way to get special clothing. Um, I can tell that my capture is actually... By the way, the, the app doesn't skip like that. The capture is just being weird and funky. So let's drop him. Yes, I'm going to pay one ticket. You get tickets in this game by, like, certain accomplishments, like adding so many friends and answering so many questions and stuff, or, or you know... I really want that. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that, though, because it's, like, right... Oh, I don't think I got it. Oh, 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 stunt! Ah! The hat is the best thing, and I never get it! I don't want those pants! I'd rather get candy than those pants. Ooh, it looks like I might get the shoes. Nope. I just got candy. All right, guys, this is already way too long, but, uh... So this was a second look at Mitomo. I still think it's something that people are going to get bored of relatively quickly. Maybe Nintendo has some ideas in mind to keep it interesting. Um, once I started realizing there's a collection of patent leather sneakers like I have on over there, I started to get more interested in it. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a fine little app, I guess. I mean, it's fun to interact with your friends. I can see why people might not like it. But uh, overall, you know, I'll probably play it for the next month and then probably get bored of it. But that is a second look at me, Tomo. Check it out yourself if you haven't already. I'm sure you probably have. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.